Well, guys, it's been a pretty long week for all of us in the iPhone community. The iPhone OS 3.0 has been out. People have been undoing reviews on the iPhone OS 3.0, unboxings on the iPhone 3GS. I did hardly any of those because I didn't have the iPhone 3GS. I didn't upgrade to 3.0 for a couple days after it came out, so I decided not to do any of that. And um, this video is mainly about one thing and one thing only the iPhone 3GS. Now, not the fact that it's out or any kind of review or anything, but um, more the fact that now I have an iPhone 3GS. I got it in white, and it's connected to AT&T. Well, right there. Might be a shocker if you can see that. It's AT&T. And if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I used to run an iPhone first gen on T-Mobile. And that's not a problem. I'll still do reviews and stuff on the iPhone and their apps for it and stuff because I still have the iPhone second generation. I mean, first generation 2G connected to T-Mobile. So I'll be, able, I'll be able to do both the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone first gen. I can do almost anything, you know. I can um, show you guys how to do Mac videos now because I have a MacBook. That's what I'm recording on. And I can do PC videos, but my PC is over there. So now that I have an iPhone 3GS, I've tried the video recording. I was going to upload this video from my iPhone, but I was I was unsure about it. So I just want to record it on my MacBook for better quality for you guys. And of course, I still got love for you iPod Touch users, iPod Touch first gen. And uh, as you know, if you've seen some of my other videos, I also have an iPod Touch second generation. So I basically have all the Apple devices scattered around here except for the iPhone 3G. I never, I never bought into buying that. I don't know why, because... I got my iPhone first gen in between the transition to 3G and 3GS, so I didn't get it. But um, I can still do videos on all four devices, iPhone, iPod Touch, I, I took, I took iPod Touch, second gen, sorry, and MacBook, Mac, all that video, and PCs. Any video request, you can send that in. You know, this is the iPhone 3GS box, pretty much the same boxing and everything as the 3G, just a bit smaller, if you can tell. I got it in white, you know, you get all the standard um, charging, as always, and your earphones are standard earphones, but they have a remote this time. Let me untangle this real quick. They have a remote now. But one of the things I noticed was the little connector is white. I'm not sure if all of the ones they sell in box are like that, you know, it doesn't matter. So I can do all these videos now. I now have the iPhone 3GS. I was getting worried because I didn't think I was going to get it before um, the jailbreak came out. And one thing about that is the iPhone 3GS jailbreak, it's kind of jailbroken. Not necessarily for the public use. But through file dumping with IBCC and IBS files in iTunes restore mode, you will be able to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, but it's not as simple as it sounds. You have to use command line and terminal, respectively, if you're on um, Windows or Mac, which is kind of a problem for most of you guys because you come to these videos to know how to do it easily with Quick Pwn and Pwnage Tool, and WinPwn hasn't been around for a while, but who cares? So that's me. We've got the iPhone 3GS. Be doing videos on that iPod, iPhones, everything. It's been about a week and a half since the iPhone 3GS got released, and I got mine before the jailbreak came out, just to show you guys how to jailbreak it. It's amazing. I'll do a few full review of it later. You can expect that in about a day or two. And I'm going to start editing my videos again, because, you know, these, these videos are getting kind of simple. But, yeah, that's the iPhone 3GS. It's the exact same casing as the iPhone 3G. That kind of bugged me out at the beginning, but since I didn't have the iPhone 3G, I could really feel the difference from the first gen. It's beautiful and white. I suggest white because black is um, all the fingerprints get on you. You can actually tell. You can kind of tell on this one too. But you can tell more on black. And I'll, anyways, I'll do a full review of that later. As I said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll show you guys how to jailbreak 3GS when it comes out. Of course.